Welcome to Combining Integers with Addition. So this lesson is about finding a way to think about integers so that we can combine them using the first of our four basic operations, addition. And what I'd like to propose is first to talk about what an integer is. Um, a lot of the times when we're thinking about numbers, especially when we're starting out with numbers, we think mostly only of counting numbers. So those would be positive whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Um, when we start thinking about integers, however, we're going to consider going in the other direction on the number line. So it's going to include not only all the whole positive numbers, but also zero, as well as all of those whole negative numbers. So um, our integers would include numbers like 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, etc. as well as positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, etc. And when we are talking about combining integers with addition, we're talking about taking numbers that are positive and or negative and combining them together using addition to come up with a final answer. So how does this look? I'm going to propose that we look at example number one. It reads, combine the following integers with addition, plus 5 plus minus 3. So I'd like to start right here and say when we're talking about combining these numbers with addition, we're talking about this addition right here, that we are adding these two integers together. We're combining them using addition. Now this first integer that we're going to look at is a plus 5. So I'd like to, with respect to the coloring I'm going to put in this lesson, I'm going to suggest that all of our positive integers we consider like their own group of numbers and I'm going to do those in orange. Conversely I'm going to suggest that all of the negative integers we deal with we consider those a separate group of numbers as well in the sort of like the negative pile. So we're looking to create positive numbers of uh, groups of positive numbers and groups of negative numbers all the time and then try to combine them. So looking at this example our first step says that we should rewrite our first integer horizontally. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's our plus 5. I'm going to get orange because this is a positive integer. So here's plus 5. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to put a little colon here. What I'm going to do is write down 5 pluses. Since that's in essence what plus 5 is. It's 5 positive numbers or digits. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our 5 pluses. And now I'm going to write the next integer underneath it same way. So here our next integer is minus 3. So that is a negative integer, a negative number. So I'm going to write down negative 3 right here. And that is going to look like 1, 2, 3 negatives. So that's our first step is to take our two integers and rewrite them horizontally in sort of an expanded version of the number of things represented by these signs. So there they are right there. Let's read step number two. Step number two says to circle every matching pair of pluses and minuses and cross them out. And the reason that we can do this is if you could imagine we have a plus one and a minus one, essentially those things cancel each other out. We've added something, we've taken that same amount away, it comes up with a net change of zero. So zeros are okay, that sits right in the middle of our number line. So what we want to do is we want to sort of see how many of the two integers we're dealing with, the plus five and the minus three, how much of them cancel each other out, if any. So we're going to do that by grouping together, and I'm going to change this to red, grouping together pluses and minuses, so there's a plus and a minus right there, and when we consider one plus and one minus, they cancel each other out. So I'm going to put a little line through it. And then we look again, is there another plus minus? There is, right here, cancelled out, and another plus minus here, cancelled out. So now we're out of plus and minus combos, in our last step, we're going to look at how much is left. And what we are left with, right here, two pluses. We get the sign, we get the number of them, so that's literally just counting those up. We have one plus and another plus, that's two pluses. That will tell us our answer. So our answer is going to be plus two. Let's have a look at this process again in example number two. Combine the following integers with addition. So again, when we're talking about addition, we're talking about this plus right here, the operation being performed. And when we're talking about these integers, as we write them horizontally, we're going to be looking at their signs to tell us how many of what particular type. So a minus 6, we're talking about a pile of minus numbers, their own little group. So let's start by that, uh, writing that one out. The minuses we are going to write in green. So 
there it is. So I'm gonna write out minus six first. There's my minus six. And I'm gonna write out six minuses. One, two, three, four, five, six of them right there. Now I'm going to write out my second integer, which is plus four, right here. And I'll write that as one, two, three, four pluses. So there we are. From here, our next step is to group together or put a circle around a plus and a minus combo. Since they have a net change of zero, a minus and a plus sort of cancel each other out, we want to see how many of those canceling outs we have between our minus six and our plus four. So let's do that right now. So here's a plus minus, put them together, they undo each other, so we'll put a line through it. Here's another one, line through it, another one, and another one. So let's see what we're left with this time. Right here, you can see we have these two pieces here remaining. They're minuses, and how many of them are there? There are two of them, so that makes our answer minus two. So that's the process we're going to adopt when we talk about combining integers. What I'd like you to do right now is hit pause on the video and give example A a try on your own, and when you've got it, Come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, let's get a look at example A. We have a plus one, so I'm gonna write that out. That one I'm gonna write out in, um, that's a plus, so I'm gonna write that in orange. Oops, there's orange there. So there's our plus one. I'll write that as a single plus. Our addition and then our second integer is also a plus, that's plus two. I'll write that out as two pluses right there. So our next step now is to combine any plus minuses that we see, put a circle around them and cancel them out. They sort of undo each other anyway. That's what we're just graphically showing. In this case, we don't actually have any pluses and minuses uh, to pair up. We just have, let's count them up, one, two, three pluses. So that's going to be our answer. We have a total of three pluses or plus three as our answer. I'd like you now to hit pause again in the video and give uh, example B here a try. When you've got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, let's have a look at B. We're gonna start with that minus seven, our first integer. So let's write this out, minus seven. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minuses. And our next integer is a plus six. So I'll write that out next. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we work on that combining. So there's a plus and a minus, put a box around it. They undo each other, so we'll scratch it out. And another one scratched out, another one, another one, another one, and one more. So that's all of the plus minus pairs that we have. And what remains is a minus. And how many minuses? One of them. So our answer will be minus one. So this is our lesson on combining integers using addition. If you're feeling good about it, head off to uh, the worksheet and um, hopefully that, that helps you out and you're thinking about combining integers with addition.